So what I'd like to show here is how to use the report utility with SiteWorks to uh, download your field data into this Excel report. So what you want to do first is get into uh, your SiteWorks and take the shots that you need out in the field. And I'm going to simulate that here on the SiteWorks uh, emulator. And what I did first was I go into my project setup and choose the project, make a new work order specifically for the shots that you're going to take here. Um, you want to make a new work order so that you have a blank slate to start with. And then if you want to choose a design, you can choose a design. In this case, I choose my finished grade model. And I'm going to load this up. And I'm going to simulate a topo of this area over here. So what I want to do is I'm going to take some shots over here. I'm going to call it topo one, original ground, and not show every time. And just hit accept. And take some shots here. Take about nine shots here just to simulate some as building or topo. And then we'll zoom in just to show there's there's nine shots there that were taken. Okay, so once you get those shots in here, you're going to go back to the menu and go down to data management. And we're going to go to export measured data. Okay, so um, what this is going to allow us to do is export a record.txt file. So if you hit the down arrow, there's other ways you can export this data. You can export the points as a CSV, um, or you can export them as a DXF or the record.txt. So if you want to bring them into the report utility, you're going to have to export the record.txt. So we choose that, and the file name uh, is going to be the same thing as your um, work order. So you can change that if you'd like. So I'm going to just leave it the same and hit accept. And it should say successfully exported the data, data to the file. So say OK. And we're going to have to show you where that, where that went. So if we go to the file explorer on your device, you're going to go to the file explorer and go to the C drive. And you're going to go to Trimble Synchronizer data. And you should just have one folder here if you're working on your device. Um, I, I have this set up as my emulator, so I'm going to go into that, into SCS 900 data folder. And these are my project folders, so I just go into the project I was working on. And in here, I have a work order folder. Open that up. And the work order that we currently were using is this top one. If you open that and go to the output folder inside there, is where this data gets exported to. So um, you'll see the record.txt that gets uh, put in there when you do the export, and the task log will always go there. So you'll always see a task log in there, but you have to manually export the record.txt in order to get this into the report. So what I typically do here, if I need to bring this into the office, what I'll do is I'll just go back out to the, the work order folder, and I'm just going to right-click, and I'm going to hit Copy. And then I have a USB stick plugged into my device, so I can just go to the USB drive. And on my USB drive, I have a folder that I made just for putting these work orders into. So I can open that up and just right click and hit paste. So I'm essentially just pasting the entire work order folder onto my USB stick. So then I can manually just transfer that to my PC if I need to email that to the office or if I just need to do it on my computer. Um, in the truck or something like that, I have it on the stick and I'm just manually copying and pasting it onto the USB. So once I get the data transferred to the USB, I want to open up my report utility. And once I open the report utility, I'm going to hit this import record button top left. And I'm going to browse to the USB stick where I put it. So I open the work order folder go to the output folder and I'm going to open the task log. So it's just, it's not going to show the record.txt. It's just going to open the task log, but the record.txt will automatically be brought in. So just hit that uh, task log, hit open. And 
when those files come in, you're going to see I have one through nine, the points that we just took. So I got northings, eastings, elevations, lat longs. I got my GPS precisions. So I have a long list of things here that were captured when I took those shots. So I also have the surface that I was using, the antenna height, and the time and date. So um, we also, in SiteWorks, you'll get this tilt data, which get, if you are using a uh, SPS 986 antenna with the tilt correction in it, it will uh, tell you what the values are of your of your e-bubble when you were taking the shot. So there's a lot of different things here. Um, you also have the raw data. So this will just sort of condense things down. If you have a total station, uh, robotic total station, this will show all your angles and distances that you were recording as you go. And then at the final tab down here for report, you can see that this is the um, the steps that I took in the work order. So you can see over here on the right, it kind of gives you the time and date. Um, this is another important one. Sometimes you have to see what base you connected to. So it will tell you uh, the lat long of the base that you and, and the network that you were using just as a double check if you ever needed to look that up. So one other thing you could do in here, um, if you wanted to make a cut sheet or something like that for yourself or to send to somebody, you can do a custom report so if you click this number two button and go to custom report and hit OK, and then it's going to say select the record type. So we're going to do a topo. It's the only one available for this type. And we'll do the point name, the code, northing, easting, elevation, um, and then possibly maybe we want to see our GPS precisions and possibly the um, local time and date. So we'll push those over to the right by hitting this right arrow and hit OK. And you'll see that it created a third, sheet, a fourth sheet. And just the data that we chose is here now. So we have just the data that we're cho we chose. Um, specifically, we could have added more if we wanted to. If you want to change the, um, change the um, style, we can change this into a, when we print it. We can, we can make this bigger or smaller. So you can just email this to somebody, and these are just like a normal Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So you can just move the data around, and you can manipulate it, or you can just do a print to PDF, and you have a nice um, report you can see here um, that you can send off to somebody. So after you're, um, after you're done with that, I can show you where to get the report utility. So if you open up your web browser and go to construction.trimble.com and go to products and solutions, go down to site positioning systems. And on here, you're going to scroll down through all the products and go to the SiteWorks positioning system. Click on that. Scroll down to the bottom where it says technical information, hit the down arrow and go to the SiteWorks software downloads. And here's where you'll find the information here for the report utility and the emulator. So you can see the most current one is 1.11. And if you want to use the PC emulator, you could download that here as well. Now, if you're using SCS 900 as well, and you want that, you can go back one page and scroll up till you find the SCS 900 controller software and scroll down to technical information and go to downloads. And here you'll find the software utilities. Click on that and the SCS report utility is here along with the SCS data man manager office synchronizer. So there's some other things in here you might need, but the latest version of SCS 900 available is 3.74. So you want to make sure that you're using the report utility that matches the software that you're
currently running 